You ready for more cringe? I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm high on crack. Da -da -da -da. Hi, welcome back to 25 Days of Cocktails. Day two, Snow Miser, let's go. Uh, hey there, hi there, ho there. My name is Michael. I'm a former bartender from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And today we're doing day two of our 25 Days of Christmas Cocktail. Last episode, we looked at an Irish coffee variation that was oddly a cold drink for Heat Miser. Uh, and now we're doing his brother Snow Miser because he can't do one without the other. And it ends up being a, like a really tasty, approachable variation on uh, a grasshopper, which is like an old school, like 1919-ish, like early 1900s uh, dessert cocktail. You will need everything you need you see here in front of you. Um, a peppermint schnapps, creme cacao, either heavy whipping cream, or I'm gonna use rum chata here because it's a little bit sweeter. Some cinnamon, like powdered cinnamon, honestly, and then uh, Angostura bitters. You also need an ice cream if you're choosing, use a vanilla ice cream and whatever you can find that you enjoy. Honestly, just about anything works. <laughs> so weird little thing I'm doing here, as opposed to using like a proper creme de menthe, which is what a grasshopper is based off of. I'm using this thing called permafrost schnapps, which is a product from Yukon Jack. I think it's a um, like did like an, an offshoot of the Sazerac bottling company. It's like a weird, uh, I think, whiskey based liqueur. It's a mint schnapps with like hints of cinnamon. It's a really weird product, but I'm using it in place of a creme de menthe because most creme de menthes around me that I can get are green as opposed to clear, meaning that this is a lot easier to work with to dye it blue because we will be putting some blue food dye in this to get it to look the proper color. You need one ounce of the permafrost schnapps. I'm gonna toss this directly into my blender here. An ounce of creme de cacao. Need an ounce of rum chata. You really like the version of this, Tia, that had the uh, um, rum chata in it, right? Compared mm -hmm. to the first one I made? Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, because it was like, it had like a lot of sweetness to it, mm -hmm. comparatively. Yeah, and it wasn't like too minty, but it wasn't overly. Yeah, it's like kind of pulled back a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna do some cinnamon to taste. You can kind of sort of skip this step if you want to, but I think adding a little bit in there goes a long way. Just whatever you feel. Anyway, a couple dashes of things for our bitters. Don't go crazy with it, maybe two or three at most. And then we're going to need the piece of resistance. Good old fashioned, basic as hell McCormick food dye. <laughs> this is a completely optional step, but the, the whole idea of like things being cold and that mean that meaning that they are blue means that we should throw some blue food, blue food color to this. I'm gonna do like five drops. Overall, you want it to be very, very blue. That's the point, just as blue as you can get it. And surprisingly, anything less than that doesn't come out very blue. <laughs> I'm going to take a cube of ice and crack it into this pitcher at this point. Wow, wow. <laughs> Fucking a. That's perfect. That's hilarious. Wow. Vanilla ice cream. I don't have an, a, a measure for this, honestly. I would say that what ends up in this pitcher is about two, two cups, maybe, maybe a cup and a half. And that's not an easy thing to measure, honestly. You kind of just know based on what it, you know, what it looks like towards the end. And in all honesty, you could probably just improvise. Um, you can always add more if you want it to be thicker or um, less if you prefer a thinner milkshake. You want a good amount in there, honestly. Don't, don't go skip beyond it. It's Christmas, you've earned it. It's the holidays, just enjoy yourself. How much is it left in there? Not a lot. <laughs> Not less than I thought there was gonna be. <laughs> Did you want any tonight? Yeah. I'll leave the rest for you. <laughs> no, I'll use it. No, no, you can have use it. Use it. No, you can have use it. Use it. Eat it. No. Fine, I'll use it. Making me produce my show well. No, no waste on the show. Can't believe it. Yeah, I would have been angry if I had that much ice cream. <laughs> really? Yes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and blend this until smooth. And away we go. Okay, maybe not. Good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to pour this off. Personally, a Sunday glass is the way that I would go with something like this. Um, I have these sort of like water goblet type glasses that I'm going to use. This one is covered in water spots, Jesus Christ. You want something just kind of like with a wide top, like a traditional Sunday glass. Just something that you can sort of stack things on top of. I'm gonna pour this in. Oh, 
That was a nearly the perfect amount. That's actually like almost a perfect serving. That's pretty great. For a garnish, we're gonna take some whipped cream and just go ham on this thing. Then just to finish it off and give it a little splash. Oh, shit. A little splash of something. Some blue sprinkles here. Just gonna go over the top with that, like so. And voila, that is a snow miser. This is one of those drinks that definitely needs a straw. Let's give this a taste. Yeah, that's good. It's like smooth and creamy and like lightly minty. There's like a lot of vanilla in it compared to the regular grasshopper where it like kind of shows up. Really, you get a lot of the impact of that cinnamon actually mixing with the mint and it makes it more complicated than a regular grasshopper would be. It's a lot more approachable, I think. And not to mention, it looks a little bit nicer because the sort of like bright neon green look of a grasshopper is like somewhat aesthetically pleasing, but I think that this has got like a little bit of, of charm to it. It's quite nice. Wanna give it a try? Uh, I don't wanna give it up. <laughs> It'll be like bring it over to you. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Sick. Like it. Yeah. It's like a, it's, it's a good milkshake, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not too hot either, despite a lot of it being alcohol. Like it's, yeah. su it's surprisingly approachable. Well, that is day two of 25 days of cocktails for Christmas, doing 25 drinks, 25 days out of the month. Something different every single time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this second romp. Look into a movie inspired drink. We're moving on to something different next time, but thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in following the series, I got 23 more days of this to do. <laughs> so click that like button and subscribe to catch the next one and join me on my inevitable downfall into running out of ideas for Christmas themed cocktails. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a good one. That's really good. Want some more? Yes. Help yourself. Want the rest of that one? Uh, to make up for the fact that I used a bloody ice cream? Maybe. Too far. Actually, yeah, I'll finish this. Yeah, go for it. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> Perfect timing.